Yeah, tough day. Obviously, a lot of overs in, um, tired legs, but the guys stuck at it. Um, I think as a bowling group, we're satisfactory with what we've done this series so far. So I think um, kudos to the guys. I'm happy for myself to be obviously be among some of the greats. So it's a good achievement for me as well. Right, a lot of runs on the board to get. <laughs> what do you think you got to do? Yeah, just back. Um, there's more than enough time. Two days left in the test match, so just bat so um nothing more to be said about that obviously the guys haven't had a good score in the test series so far so it's about guys just applying themselves and obviously going there and being positive and put some runs on the board what's the wicket like no as we speak yeah it's flattened out a bit more um it's not as bouncy as it was in a couple of first couple of days but it's still enough there for the bowlers, so we still have to apply yourself as a batsman and obviously grind and get that score. But I think once you get in, it becomes way easier. So it's all about the guy just being positive and just grinding and obviously getting himself in and obviously getting a score. Kemar, uh, almost a hat trick. Talk about that over. What was it like the first wicket and then almost getting the third one? Yeah, it's a good feeling. <laughs> obviously, the Indian batting lineup is very strong. So obviously, to be on a hat trick against those guys is obviously a good feeling. So yeah, I'd like to get it, but a little more luck. Next time inside edge on the stamps and it'll go my way, but I'm pretty happy with what happened. The bowling unit stepping up, like, how is it? Uh, user, Shannon, and, uh, Jason, how is it uh, like expanding the bowling unit? Yeah, I think the, the, the trick about it is uh, we, stick, we stick together a lot. Um, we communicate very well, so we know what we're about and what roles we have to play when it comes to certain sessions. So I think our clarity is very clear when it comes to bowling. Um, so I think that's what's been working for us for the last two years. So I think once we can stick together, stand apart, obviously remain fit, I think we have some big things coming for us in the next couple of test matches. When you began your career, you were the young man that could hurt for your content, mm. right? Now you're like a KG veteran. Um, how is it that your bowling has transformed from tonight? Yeah, it's just about developing yourself as a cricketer. Um, obviously learn every day and just try to be positive. Uh, just say, focus on the job at hand and just keep working hard. That's my trick for the last couple of years coming back from injury. So it's just about obviously sticking with my um, what I know, what I know I can do, obviously, and just keep it as simple and basic as possible. So that's that's my trick for the last couple of days. Could you talk a bit about the tandem? Um, you know, where sometimes he holds the one end up and into attack. Yeah, just about bowling. All teams try to do that. Um, I think the Indians do it very well as well. But I think with us, we've been together for a while. So we understand each other. We understand when it's time for us to hold, it's time for us to attack and, you know, give us give yourself a break and let someone else get involved. But I think we've been doing it very well. We, um, we're very in sync and the communication helps and, yeah, we're very clear what we want to do. Your highest test score is here. Mm -hmm. Against New Zealand way back. Mm -hmm. um, you're batting really well in this series. Um, any thoughts, I mean, in, in terms of not to get a highest test score per se, but to, you know, another set, an opportunity in the second innings? How do you see it? Yeah, um, obviously, once the batsmen do the job, obviously, we should tear legs in the Indians. They can obviously try to get a bigger score. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been pretty confident in the bat recently. Um, just back on my ability, trust my talent, and just go out there and obviously hit the ball. Um, I've been doing it pretty well, and I'm pretty proud of that. I just keep it simple for me. I know my shots, so I just wait on the ball to come in that area. Can I tell uh, all the ballers with switching ends on and off? Like, you ball from his end, you ball from that end. What does it return like? Um, I just, I just guess. This is the skipper, what he what he thinks on a day um, at the moment. I'm open to bowling at any end, uh, for sure. Yeah, there's obviously different dimensions when it comes to different ends, but I think, it is, it, for me, it, it doesn't really bother. I just put the ball in the right areas. Um, there's always an area in the pitch you want to bowl, so once you get the ball in the right areas on any side of the pitch, it doesn't matter. So for me, it's just being simple. Yeah. We talk about tired legs, and Cornwall did a pretty good job of bowling so many overs. He didn't get a bag of wickets, but what are your thoughts on him in his debut? He, he looked like a, like he belonged there. Oh, definitely. Um, Cornwall, I thought he bowled really well today. Um, in the whole test match, for sure. Um, trying conditions against Indian batsmen, who are a pretty good player to spin. I thought he did a fantastic job holding one end, creating some pressure, and a lot of guys from the other end to get a wicket. So I think, yeah, he looks like he belongs. Um, I think he has a great future for the West Indies, and I hope he just stays on the park and obviously continue to, to, to do great things for us. Um, could you compare the bowling effect, not exactly the results, just the processes from the series against England and the series against India? Um, the yeah, I think yeah, the, the plans are still the same plans. Um, as you said, 
I think India have, have one of the stronger lineups and batting lineups in the world, so obviously it's going to be a different challenge. But I think we stuck at our guns pretty well. I think JS bowled very well this test match. I think in the second innings, they got some wickets. Um, I think the guys in the first test and the first innings just really bowled well together, Shannon, me and Shannon. So I think, yeah, the, the, the process is still there. It's just about obviously putting it together a little closer and obviously um, she's trying to limit batsmen a little bit more. But all in all, I'm very happy with how the guys, how the guys bowled the series. Was there a moment you thought uh, you had the hat-trick? Of course, uh, yeah. Bought inside edge and missing the stumps is unlucky, but yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what happened.